In this video, I'm going to teach you how to keep your brain sharp when using hearing aids. Coming up. If I were to ask you the question, what do you use to hear with? You would probably end up saying your ears. But what if I told you that you do not hear with your ears? You actually hear with your brain. That's right, you can actually have two normally functioning ears, but if your brain cannot receive and process this auditory information, then it wouldn't matter if you had four ears. Research also suggests that this lack of sound can lead to depression, poor balance, and dementia. When it comes to hearing loss and how it impacts our brain function, there has been a lot of research coming out in the past several years that gives us cause for concern. But before I get into this research, if you could do me a huge favor and click the like button, it really helps out the channel and gets these videos in front of more individuals. And while you're at it, go ahead and click that subscribe button and notification bell so you always get notified every time I release a new video. That being said, let's go ahead and get into the research. Some of this research includes the study by Dr. Frank Lynn which indicated an increased risk of dementia with untreated hearing loss based on the severity of the hearing loss. You also have the 25-year-long study by Dr. Helene Amiva that showed an accelerated rate of cognitive decline for individuals with untreated self-reported hearing loss. What's interesting is that this decline did not occur in individuals whose hearing loss was treated with hearing aids. The Lancet Commission on Hearing Loss determined that loss in midlife is the leading potentially modifiable risk factor for dementia later in life at 9%. That's greater than quitting smoking at 5%, getting treatment for depression at 4%, and exercising more at 3%. Now more than ever, it has become apparent that treating your hearing loss is a very good idea, not just for helping you hear better, but to potentially stave off the negative cognitive effects of untreated hearing loss so you can keep your brain sharp. This is why Oticon, today's video sponsor, developed their brain hearing philosophy all the way back in 2003, which has guided the development of their brain hearing technology that we see today. Essentially, Oticon realized that if they were going to help someone with hearing loss hear their best, then they must provide the brain all of the necessary acoustic information that would allow the human brain to function more naturally. So back in 2016, Oticon abandoned the traditional way of prioritizing sound coming from the front while attenuating sound coming from behind and to the sides with the development of their open technology. Instead, they adopted the orient and focus approach in order to amplify sound more closely with how the human brain hears sound naturally. The Orient subsystem constantly scans all surrounding sounds, no matter their nature and direction, to create a full perspective of the soundscape, meaning that all acoustic information will be taken into consideration for amplification, rather than just discarding acoustic information that comes from locations other than in front of a hearing aid user. When you think about someone without hearing loss, their brain has the ability to take in information from all different directions before determining which sound is the most important and which sound to focus on. That's why only after having this full picture of sound will the focus subsystem kick in. The focus subsystem helps people select which sounds to listen to while other irrelevant sounds are filtered out and pushed into the background. So if someone with normal hearing is in a complex listening situation with a lot of background noise and someone someone comes up behind them and starts talking to them, their focus subsystem has the ability to orient their focus in that direction. So how does this brain hearing philosophy result in such high performance outcomes with Oticon hearing aids that use brain hearing technology like the Oticon More? It's relatively simple. With Oticon's philosophy, the more that they can process sound in a way that your brain would naturally, the better you'll be able to hear. The Oticon More hearing aid also uses deep learning, which is created by a deep neural network, which was inspired by the structure of the human brain. Essentially, Oticon engineers developed this deep neural network so their more hearing aids could function more like the human brain, ensuring that your brain has better access to auditory information, which can be beneficial from a speech intelligibility standpoint, and it can also, according to the research, be better for your overall brain health. 
Now we have just scratched the surface when it comes to how hearing loss negatively impacts your overall brain function and how treatment of your hearing loss with hearing aids could potentially stop these changes from occurring. But if you consider the research that we currently have and you're looking to keep your brain sharp as you continue to get older, then stimulating your brain with auditory information from world-class hearing aids should be at the top of your list. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please share it. And if you want to see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, feel free to check out my website, drcliffaud.com.